Hey everyone, it's I, Byron here, doing another loot haul, uh, review, uh, this time I got some 40k stuff, uh, what's it called, is that, as of late, me and my buddies have been doing a lot of, like, Space Marine 2 and stuff, and playing, uh, playing the game and whatnot, uh, and two of my buddies being, um, hardcore, well, not hardcore, uh, 40k people, but they are in the hobby, they know it, and I've been meaning to get myself into the hobby, so I decided to, like, you know what, let's do some, um, uh, some gambles and whatnot, and get myself some stuff. Right here, I got myself a Space Marine Adventures board game, which right here just comes with a. Oops, I'll go deal with those in a second. Those, uh, this right here is basically a board game where you basically go into a labyrinth, basically a labyrinth raid, and you go against to try to fight uh, Necrons, which are the evil robots. Uh, that's an overestimation of the whole goddamn thing. But you basically go in to kill team team of five, basically right there. Go into the labyrinths. And basically just go in, exterminate the uh, Necrons, and basically um, survive and win the game. That is basically the whole adventure thing. Uh, it has the overview right here, so if you want to read that, you can pause it right there and see right there. But overall, you have the whole area right here. You got the whole line. You got the whole board right here, which you can make. It's basically the labyrinth. It kind of reminds me of um, uh, 40K Inquisition, another game that's basically similar to this. Basically, over, over the top view, send your troopers, defeat all the enemies, and... And whatnot, and this also comes with miniatures. So basically, I'm gonna be starting off with my, I guess you could call it a kill team, which is what my buddy says. Like starting off is pretty good. Five units, uh, each of the five units are basically different starting units, and right here, basically, they're easy to build. They're just all pop, and as you see right there, all easy to build, pop, and just pop in the parts using the peg system, and boom, they're done. You can see right there. Painting, on the other hand, is gonna be my other thing that I'm gonna have to do because I'm gonna have to get new equipment. Cause I can't use my same brushes and whatnot. I can't use, can't use my paint. I can't use my brushes, because for the brushes, I'm gonna have to get one of those um, hard point brushes, because the ones I have are soft points, so they're not gonna be good for miniature miniature painting at all. So I have to, I have to get a new investment on that. And then paint is dividends. I'll figure that one out. I know my buddies will probably tell me what to, what to use and whatnot. But overall, this um board game Space Marine 40k. Uh, uh, adventures looking pretty good, and basically, my starting off is gonna be nice. And then, hopefully, later on, I'll start building my army. And for those who are wondering which armor I'm gonna be building, it's kind of well, because my name's kind of obvious, I'm gonna go with Salamanders because my name, Pyro, right there, is kind of gives it a little obvious on who I'm gonna go with. But overall, uh, once I go down the line and start getting more and more, I'm gonna start building my Salamanders team, and you'll probably see more of those later down the future line. And I might do a couple videos of basically either me painting these guys, or I might do a stream, either on YouTube or whatnot, of me painting these guys. But we'll see how that goes. But on the other hand, going from these guys right here, we're going to go with these, um, I wouldn't call these Legos. They're kind of Legos, but they're kind of also kind of knockoffs. Uh, I bought these on a gamble because they were on, on cheap or whatnot. Well, kind of cheap, but I decided to gamble on these because... You know what? I'm kind of in 40k mood, trying to get these, and we'll see how these goes. Because on, in the reviews for these, these are like half and half, like 70 percent, pretty nice overall. Uh, different units. Uh, starting off here, I'm pretty sure this one's a blood raven or blood angel. Let me see. Looks like a blood raven. Might be wrong here, uh, but by the insignias, because I have two. I, so I'm, I have no clue which one's gonna be Blood Raven, and Blood, and the other one being Blood Angel. So those of you in the comment section who might know a little bit more better of uh, 40k, you might know a little bit better. My knowledge, my knowledge of 40k stuff is, um, I'm slowly getting to the hobby. Uh, so I was watching YouTube videos about people when I'm trying to read books, and then having my friends tell me about it, and then playing the games themselves, trying to help me little by little learn more about the, learn about the world and stuff. I do know 40k. Uh, my first in entry into hobby, besides my buddies, basically teaching me and playing, uh, teaching me about it. Is also TTS or if the inbred text speech device. I swear, I end up falling in love with the whole entire thing a lot. This one right here is white scars. That one I do know. Uh, what's it called? And then afterwards, what's it called? I, I've been in the hobby ever since. Not, I've just been like a browser one. I haven't fully got into it. I do have. Figures mainly Adeptus Authoritas figures uh, that I do have uh, two of right now, and I do got another one coming in uh, eventually, hopefully by next week or whatnot. This one is an Imperial Fist right here, 
Oh, the orange units. Not bad at all. Uh, the reviews did say that sometimes these do come either with some missing pieces, maybe arms or whatnot, or uh, or same pieces like left arms and whatnot, but we'll see how that goes. This one's the Ultramarines, or the Blueberries, that everybody likes to call them. <laughs> because they're the uh, Jack of All Trades, Master of None type of team. This one right here is the uh, Black Templars, I'm pretty sure. I do know most of the basic units, or basic uh, Astartes chapters. Uh, I do know some farewell knowledge about that, so I'm not, so I'm pretty sure and whatnot. And this one right here is the one I'm kind of confused on because I have no clue what this is. Just looks like a regular Space Marine because it's not Salamanders, just because, well, Salamanders have, uh, coal ash, uh, skin and whatnot, so this is a Space Marine. I have no clue which chapter this is, so somebody who do, who does know a little bit more will probably tell me because Salamanders are right there. These, this guy has different poultry and insignia. Right here, as you can see right here, has the uh, wings with the sword or whatnot. I have no clue what that is. I'm probably going to, after this video, I'm probably going to go look it up and see what it is. Uh, and then we got uh, some runners with some more weaponry. Uh, right here with a bolter, regular uh, bolt rifle, bolter, shotgun, uh, a power hammer. Sadly, uh, like, they, like in the comments and reviews of these, basically sometimes pieces are missing. I'm pretty sure I had all these together so this probably just fell off here somewhere i'm gonna have to hopefully find that so going from the um the space marines miniatures i'm gonna call i'm not gonna call these legos even though they are kind of lego-ish but if anything else these are probably uh kind of like the you know like an etsy one now where people just make uh, their own lego figures and print them out and overall these are not bad overall i'm gonna have to rebuild and whatnot but now let's go with the krieger units or I'm pretty sure these guys are Krieger units. Uh, which I told my buddy. I'm pretty sure these are Kriegers because of the helmets and whatnot. I'm pretty sure. Or guardsmen. It's one of the two. Uh, I know I know when my buddy sees it, they're probably going to yell at me. And it's like, how do you not know who this teams are? Or who? Either way, I'm pretty sure these are guardsmen or Kriegers. But the helmets and whatnot kind of reminds me more of Kriegers. So these guys are probably Kriegers. Overall, the Krieger guys are looking good. I know I'm going to be taking my time building these guys more than anything else. You can see a lot of these body parts kind of falling off and whatnot, but that's fine. I can always build these. No, my uh, was no problem at all. These are basically we got four male units here because this is like a divide between all these. So we got four male units here because I did go over these beforehand. We do have the one psycho unit right here. I can see right there, looking pretty nice with their staff and whatnot. The printing is pretty nice, not like not gonna lie, the printing is pretty good. Like whoever did these, they did dedicated work and I'm per and I'm pretty uh, overall not bad. I'm liking these. And there's the female Krieger uh, soldier, Krieger guardsman. Uh we got two of these right here. So not bad at all. Uh what's it called? And then we have the commander. I'm pretty sure it's commander. The comet. Commissioner, Commodore, Commissioner, Commission. Yeah, can never, I can never say that word, but you know who I'm talking about. Commission. I'm gonna go with Commodore because I can't say Commissioner for some reason. One second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. If uh, if there's if you guys hear any of uh, like my cat whatnot, basically meowing. Uh, what's it called? I just had to go see what he wanted. He just wanted some food and whatnot, but that's fine. Uh, but overall, comments here looking good. I really do like the detailing on this. Also, he has his own cape cloth right here, as you can see. Looking nice. That's going to be kind of something I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put that on. But we're all the, the Guardsmen Krieger units looking fine. Can't wait to actually see these guys fully built. Uh, so I'll see that later down the line. Overall, guys looking good. Overall, I'm liking this. Um, I won't say this is my first starting to 40k. I do have some figures of 40k. Well, not some figures. I got like two figures. Both of them adept as a uh Adeptus Assort is uh, one of them being one of the big full six inch figures that bought them at Target. Supposedly I bought it at Target because uh, now I'm like looking at some of my other stuff. Apparently he's telling me he's like, I didn't buy it at Target, but it's like pretty sure I got it at Target. So my brain probably lying to me. Oh no. No, we'll leave those like, we'll leave those right there or whatnot. Uh, but what's it called? But yeah, that is it for my 40k overhaul, overview. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. This is, uh, 
I'm going to be doing more of these um, 40k stuff as well. So I'm going to be doing that down the line. So you'll probably be seeing me doing either painting of my miniatures and showing off my miniatures. You'll probably be seeing uh, later videos of basically these guys being built and me doing an overview of what they come with. So we'll do that in another video. Uh, but as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Always appreciate it. And always have a nice, great day, folks. This is I, Pirate Arden, with this new 40k stuff. Signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.